Kesaksian orang Yahudi Ibu saya melihat Yesus Saya alami roh kudus Please tell me about yourself And what happened So you can be a follower of Jesus Christ uh, It's a little bit of a long story But I will make, try to make it short Okay uh, My name is Dan, I'm 27 now Mm -hmm. I was born in a Jewish family. I'm Jewish, both from my mom and my dad. Uh, my dad comes from a more orthodox Jewish background, but, mm -hmm. so he keeps the traditions of the Jewish tra religion today. Mm -hmm. um, and I grew up in that. And when I was six years old, my parents they divorced. When I was eight years old, my mom came to faith in Yeshua. We call Jesus Yeshua. That's how we. Yeah. In, yeah. in uh, Hebrew, um, she had the vision of Jesus, and that's that's a very unique story. She actually saw him, um, but for me, it took ten more years, and until I was eighteen years old, I was not even allowed to go to a congregation, to a church. Uh, we call it a congregation because my dad didn't want me to. He didn't. Ex he actually filed for court. The Supreme Court did not allow me to go to uh, any congregation until I was 18. I could have nothing to do with Jesus, but still, uh, because they went to court all the time, when I had to join the army, I started to really dig into why are they fighting? What are they fighting about? Um, and many people wanted for me to believe in Jesus so that I will have this protection when I'm in the army. Because back then we had war too, in 2014. Um, so I really started to read the word, mm -hmm. uh, and I read the Talmud also, which is the Hebrew yeah, Jewish, I yeah, it's the Jewish uh, oral law. They believe yeah. that we've received oral law from Moses, passed from generation to generation. Mm -hmm. And I just came to the conclusion just by reading the prophecies, just by reading the Bible, just by reading uh, sections in the Talmud that it doesn't make sense for the Talmud to be true, and. I would meet Reuven, uh, my pastor here, I would speak with him, uh, ask questions, and eventually I just had this inner witness uh, in my spirit that Jesus is the Lord. He is the Jewish Messiah, Yeshua. Uh, he is our King. And the Jewish people were blinded uh, for the sake of the Gentiles and for the purposes of God in ways that we can't even understand. And I began to understand that. And for three years, it, it was um, very difficult for me because I went into the army as a new believer, and in the army there was no believers. And so I had to walk this this belief and this life on my own in the army. Of course, I would come back once in three, two weeks, and I would meet this congregation, I would meet people, but still in my... Uh, daily lives I didn't know how to live mm -hmm. it properly and I always felt something missing and later I found out what was missing was the Holy Spirit oh. I did not know the Holy Spirit I did not know I knew that there was a Holy Spirit but I didn't know what that meant yeah. very much and so in 2018 so three and a half years later I received the Holy Spirit which was a big miracle it was my fourth year in the army there was a person from the United States, a few people from the United States in Israel, maybe you know them. It's uh, Todd White and Robbie Dawkins. And and for the first time I saw people healed on the streets. They, they would come with us, a team from the United States, and I would be in a group with some people. And they would go out on the streets and pray for the sick, anyone with bandages, anyone with a cane, anyone with any sickness that's visible. They would stop them, pray for them, they would be healed. And then they would try to train me and they say, okay, you pray next. Mm. And when I prayed this entire day, nothing happened. And I have a sick brother also, I didn't say that uh, on a video, but my brother has autism, nerve system damage, speech damage, uh, brain damage. So for me, it was very much on my heart to see the sick people healed. So when the first time I saw them healed by them, I was very confused why it's not happening through me. Yeah, yeah. It seemed to me as though they are flying on the clouds and everything is just happening so easily. Mm -hmm. They had words of knowledge, 
they suddenly come to someone and they say, oh, you have something in your shoulder, uh, let me take that from you, something like that, mm. with authority and with faith, and they knew that this would happen. And for me, it didn't happen this entire day. I would go around, and I'm like, what's going on? And later yeah. I found out that I was being provoked to jealousy oh. by the Gentiles. Okay, so in yeah. Romans 11, it speaks yes. about that. I think it's uh, verse 14. <laughs> What that made in me is hunger. It brought about hunger in my heart. Uh, because when we returned to the conference, this was the entire day, the conference. So we returned in the evening service and they preached on the Holy Spirit. And I was so hungry. I just didn't care about anything else. I wanted the Holy Spirit. And, and the preacher also said, the Holy Spirit will come. There's yeah. no question. I heard people say, maybe he will come. Yeah. I heard people say, let's see what God does. Mm -hmm. But I never heard people say, he's going to come right now. Really? Before that, never. Wow. And so when he said that, I felt he believes what he says. And so he simply raised his hands. Yeah. Total silence, no music, no nothing. Mm -hmm. And he said, Holy Spirit, come. Yeah. That's all. And the Holy Spirit came on me. I felt, some people ask, how did you feel? What did you feel? So mm. I'll just explain that. Cause maybe some people are uh, curious, but I just felt a presence, a tangible presence of yeah, God. Yeah. I felt a fire, a, uh, electricity. Yeah, like hot, hot in your and body. Hot and electric. Mm -hmm. And it was very strong. And yeah. it started on my fingers and all over my hands. And it went, this presence went down over oh, me like a blanket. Really? Yeah. All over my head, all over my body really. And But I could barely feel my face. It was okay. so numb because of this presence. Oh. It was so strong. And I never felt it before. And, you know, I was a skeptic before that. Yeah. People fall, I would, I would say they look behind them to see <laughs> if there's a catcher. That was me. Uh, and they would just fall. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I never, um, it never happened to me. I never sensed that. Yeah, okay. And I know everybody is different and everybody senses the Holy Spirit in different ways. But that's how it happened for me. And after that, I began to lay my hands on the sick and they would recover by the grace of God the next day. Because the conference was like four or three, four days. So okay. I went and I saw maybe 15 people that day healed instantly. Yeah. And uh, from then on, I started, I went to... I... Simak bagian kedua wawancara Fakta Israel dengan Dan. Salam damai dari Fakta Israel. Fakta Israel.